that this project is not just about young people. It's about young people becoming change makers. I'm Rachel Stiltner. I'm the program coordinator for Stories for Change. The program was designed to um, move participants through a variety of skill sets. Um, photography, poetry, traditional storytelling, dance. So the participants were really interested in um, the medium of photography. And so Whitney Williams came in and she was able to sort of talk to them about how she used photography as an outlet for stress. We gave them cameras and they just went out into the streets and into their homes and started taking photographs. Kevin Glasper, who goes by the instructional name of Casper, introduced the kids to an art form that they didn't have experience with. So he taught them about dance and the art of using your body as a tool for storytelling. They're all willing to just jump in, give as much energy as humanly possible, and we made something happen, so it was awesome. We already do a lot of outreach complementary work with underserved youth or after school clubs and uh, uh, youth at risk. But what we wanted this project is to develop that work in meaningful ways. So rather than just a one-time visit, a young person can come back and have repeat visits over a period of time. And through that, they build a relationship with the center and with the art form of storytelling. A program like this is important because it gives the participants the opportunity to see that what they have to say is valuable and they can have an impact. If you want to make the world a better place, start with your young people and start locally and invest your time and your energy and, and believe them. It all starts 